Hi, everybody. I'm Mrs. Burr from the Kimball Library, and it's another Thursday, so we're going to do a craft. And uh, I thought this morning when I got up that we're getting closer to October 30th, which would be Halloween time. And so obviously we need to make something that would be scary or black or something that's Halloween related. And so this is a very easy craft and I know it would be fun to do, but this bat would be perfect hanging from a tree branch. You could find one in your yard, maybe still colored with leaves that are pretty, red and yellow, orange. And you could take a little branch of that and hang this on the, the, the colorful leaf branch and put it in a, a container so that it would be there, look like a pretty decoration. Or you could hang it underneath a lamp. Who knows where, but it would be fun to have lots of bats hanging about. It's not really too scary. I made a big smile, so that's a good sign. We have to have a little bit of smiling, even on a scary thing. So let's start our bat. And what I did first was make a template. And that is going to be something that we trace. So that is really the bat's wings. And I made it on white paper and then would put it on the brown that I'm going to use for this bat and draw around the template of the wings and then cut it out. So to make the template, that's an easy thing to do. And I folded a piece of white paper in half from top to bottom. And then I just decided that I would make something that looked like half a crown. You notice that does look like a crown, a king's crown. So it has a scoop, scoop, scoop. And I thought that should be pretty easy to do. So I've put this template and I will try to draw one for you and you could draw one too. Make a big small circle, then a big line, and then go scoop, scoop. Try it. It does look like a bat's wing, doesn't it? I think you'll have good luck doing that. And then we'll cut it out and have our template that we'll put on our colored paper. So here we are. One bat wing coming up. And there it is. So now we can trace it. And it does look like a bat wing too, doesn't it? Lay it on the paper and then take your pencil and trace around the edge until you're finished and can cut it out with your scissor. Only takes a minute. And then we'll have our wing ready to go. And on my body for the, the bat, I've used a toilet tissue paper holder or half of a paper towel. And then I put some colored paper around it so you could also paint it if you like. The one that I'm going to do now is painted and it's painted kind of a purple. That's a good scary color for a bat too. So we'll just see how this works out. We'll make our wings. See if they look like they would fit. And they do. Look at that. Close enough. Then I've taken this paper roll and painted it purple instead of rolling it on paper. If you roll it with paper to color it, then you would take a straight piece of paper and just edge to edge and then cut along and just 
and close the tube with the paper. Cut it, paste it. There you are, a black paper. But we'll just use the painted one for this project. And then we'll put the brown wings on it with glue. And I'm gluing the center right there with the glue. You could also use tape, but I think it will work better this time if we use glue. And I'll paste it on the tube. And there we are. Easy. Easy as pie. Then we need to take a little piece of our round paper, like a square, and I will fold it in half because we need to make two little pointed ears for this bat. They have them and need them. You know, bats love the light at night. I don't know if you've ever seen them outside your house or near a barn or the garage when the light is on. You'll see them flying around. So I have two little triangles that we'll use as ears and they will go into the end of the tube on the opposite side of our wings. And here's the other one. Right inside. They stick very easily too, no problem. There it is. I put them on the wrong side. That's silly, isn't it? They really go on the same side as the bat wings. <laughs> you could make the same mistake that I did, I'm sure. There. Now we'll put it all on again. That's so silly to do that. There. Now it looks normal, as a bat should. Next, we'll take some googly eyes and stick them right on the base. The other side. Ooh, they're so tiny. I get a, I could use great big googly eyes. Maybe I should. They don't want to stick, but there they are. There's one more. And of course, a little mouth. We wouldn't need that too. You could make a scary mouth or a happier one with just a little slice of paper. Up. There we go. This one is having trouble sticking. Who would think that would happen? These things happen just like they do at home. There. To make our feet, what we'll do is take two snips at the bottom with our hole puncher. And then we'll have a place to put our legs so that we could hang our bat. Two holes at the bottom. There are the bat wings. And here is the pipe cleaner. And we'll just put it inside and through the other side, right through the two holes. Pull them down so they're even. 
And then we just have to twist them. I twisted just a little tiny bit so the legs would stay together. And we'll just twist the top around. Oh, the wings fell off again. There, I'm not using enough paste. Make little feet there to hold it up. I'll fix that wing on in just one second. So there we have two feet. And more glue for these wings that don't want to stay. There we are. So we could hang them up, two bats together. There they are. You could make your own colors too, but they should be dark, scary for Halloween. Have fun, and I bet yours will stick on better than mine did. Bye-bye.